In this episode of Aviation This Week, RCAF names its new SAR fleet Kingfisher. Then the GE 9X engine achieves FAA certification, and Bell completes the first APT-70 flight demo with NASA. Visit the events page at wingsmagazine.com to register for the complimentary Aerial Firefighting Virtual Symposium taking place on October 22nd. The Royal Canadian Air Force on September 25th held a ceremony to welcome its first Airbus C-295 at 19 Wing in Comox, B.C. Designated as CC-295 for Canada, this is the first of 16 such aircraft purchased by the federal government for its fixed-wing search-and-rescue aircraft replacement program. Representing a value of $2.4 billion, Canada's new SAR fleet will operate under the name Kingfisher, replacing the Buffalo and Hercules fleets in their search-and-rescue role at four locations across the country. Deliveries of the aircraft are scheduled to continue until 2022. Airbus has formally delivered three Kingfishers to date, with the second scheduled to arrive in the coming weeks. The Kingfisher is equipped with sensors that allow crews to locate persons or objects from more than 40 kilometers away, even in low light conditions. Its communication systems will increase interoperability with other SAR assets like the CH-149 Cormorant helicopter. GE Aviation on September 28th announced its GE 9X engine, which will power the new twin-engine Boeing 777X family, has been certified by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. The program involved eight test engines, with certification achieved in just under 5,000 hours and 8,000 cycles. GE has been designing and testing the GE 9X since 2013, In late January 2020, Boeing completed its first flight of the 777X from Payne Field in Everett, Washington. The GE 9X engine is in the 100,000-pound thrust class, employing a front fan of 134 inches in diameter with a composite fan case and 16 fourth-generation carbon fiber composite fan blades. GE so far has received orders and commitments for more than 600 GE 9X engines. Bell Textron on September 30th announced the first flight of its Autonomous Pod Transport 70, or APT-70, as part of a joint flight demonstration program with NASA, designed to assess the safety and utility of unmanned aircraft for commercial use. Bell's first flight demonstration executed a 10-mile beyond visual line of sight circuit using prototype X-Wing detect and avoid technology in an urban environment. Once armed from the ground control station, The APT-70 initiates a vertical takeoff before rotating its wings for forward flight. APT-70's route along Trinity River in Fort Worth, Texas, involved a road crossing and transitioning into and out of controlled Class B airspace, maintaining an altitude of 500 feet above ground. Data collected during the demonstration will be used to support future standards development by the FAA. Bell envisions how an operational APT-70 could transport payloads of up to 70 pounds. 